So Charlotte's industry, we do uh, marketing and events uh, for service ser service industry. Um, this year we have coming up more workshops and seminars to educate people. Uh -huh. When COVID happened, you know, there were so many people I knew that didn't know how they were going to eat the next week, let alone pay their rent the next month. Uh -huh. um, so I, I want to come up with, you know, these tools, these outlets for people to have. I worked with uh, Heather Cheney, who's one of the local liquor reps. We started a Charlotte's Industry page on Facebook. It's kind of a, a group where people post job listings, you know, classes, um, a bowling tournament I did last week, we put that on there. Yeah. You know, we do a yearly St. Patty's Day crawl also. But we put together outlets and, you know, efforts to, that people could use that, you know, Jameson is, you know, giving away free, free dinners at Heist for service industry, right. or Tito's is giving this away, or Crown and Diageo, or brands are supporting, you know, the industry community. So we would use that as an outlet to kind of broadcast to the service industry hospita hospitality community that, hey, we do have this going on for you. Please use it. Don't be ashamed. It's free food. Come get it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, that's so cool to be able to give people resources. There's so much information out there, but oftentimes people just don't have access to it. It's not on their radar. We're bombarded with all kinds of shit all the time, but not the stuff that matters. Like you said, if you're struggling to eat or pay bills, like you're not yeah. focused on a lot else. Yeah, so it's, it's been a blessing. We're looking forward to doing more this year. Uh, two years ago, we did a kickball tournament at BB&T Ballpark with Tito's. Um, uh, so we had 12 uh, service industry teams, uh, dot, 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 Graham Street, a um, couple of, uh, I think, yeah, Lost and Found had a team, a couple other places. Uh, but what we did is um, all teams came out and competed. At the end of the day, what Tito's did is Tito's donated $3,000 to the nonprofit of choice of the winning team. That's cool. So we were actually able to help out somebody within the hospitality industry. Um, an individual, his, you know, his son has been very sick, so it went towards yeah. his hospital bills. Oh, wow. That's incredible. It's cool when like a community comes together and supports each other and lifts each other up. Yeah, and when there's those type of events, um, you know, that are, you know, fun, outgoing events, but, you know, they bring some type of awareness. I think it kind of, you know, puts a little bit more adhesive, you know, between the community of the hospitality industry. So sure. we're just looking forward to doing more of that.